Welcome! Would you like to go see the Far Lands in modern Minecraft? Well, here's what you could do! Based on the links... On... Based on the links on the Reddit... That I have put here on... On the screen... On the, um... On the description for the video at the bottom... There are certain... Class files you need to download. There are three class files for three different things. Down here you'll see Minecraft 181. Make a separate Minecraft 181 for your profile and you will be changing this by changing the BNT class file into the one given on the Reddit uh, on the Reddit post which shows you where, where, where you can get it. There's a different file for Minecraft 1.8.3 and there's a different one from 184 to 188. I have not tested the other ones out. I have tested this one out. And we're going to go to the Far Lands in Minecraft 181. Here it is, but uh, let's get rid of it. Let's start a new one. Far Landers. Set it to creative, because there's no point, really. Cheats on, because there's no point. We could set it to anything we want, even amplify, but we're going to set it to default, just for sake of argument. Suck it, Kurt. We're gonna get there first. <laughs> Go for it. It's basically 181 with Farlands. Now to differentiate, you're gonna have to rename the file that says Far. You have to rename the jar to Far to 181 Farlands. You'll have to rename the JSON to 181 Farlands, and there's a line in the JSON that you have to change, and you have to get rid of meta inf, which is inside the the directory for the jar. Now what I've got for my friends is I just simply... Ooh, look at that. I just simply changed a few things. I wonder if this going to set the whole thing on fire. Well, suck it, Kurt. Anyway, the point is, is this is this is how it goes. Am I safe here? I better go over here. I should be safe over here, he thinks. Hi, I'm back at Wozad. I'm playing the game. Anyway, so what happens... Besides the fact that there's all this stuff catching fire, and it's still going. Now nah, it looks like it's gone to the end. It's gonna catch the grass on fire, though. Why am I talking about that? What is this about the Farlands? We're gonna go to the Farlands. I'm gonna show you how the Farlands works. This is a regular map, you'd think. Well, it's not gonna be completely regular, because there's a few changes about it. One is that the Farlands have been re-enabled by changing the BNT class. In other, um, in other versions of Minecraft 183 to 188, there are different classes that have to be changed. But never mind any of that. First, let's go into Sky. It's a beautiful day. Let's get out F3. Good. TP me. 1255000. There we go. No, we'll leave this on. But, Beckar, it looks like more world. Oh, well, this is really crazy stuff. Wait a minute. Is this... This is normal mode? How is this normal mode? Plateau M. If there's anything that does not look like a plateau, it's something that goes way up here. This is, this is not the Far Lands, but it's very interesting. I don't think it was intended to be like this. I am playing regular, am I not? I didn't select Amplified, did I? Be weird if I did, huh? Well, never mind that. And we're at 128. That's this weird. Hmm. Well, no big deal. We're going to... Going this way. Go a little bit lower. Go a little bit faster. At about one, at twelve million five hundred fifty thousand eight hundred plus, it'll appear, and it'll be really annoying to most people. But you'll see it for the first time, and then you will be shocked, because we have actual far. One entire block. One entire block. Wait, I gotta see this. This is weird. It's a perfectly flat pool of water except for one block. 
That is weird. Alright, keep going. I'm going the right way, right? Still not there. We're only about halfway there. We'll be good to see it shortly any minute now. It's going to really lag for a half second. But it doesn't lag like the Fireleads used to like a Beta 173. Here it comes now. Here it comes now. Whoa! This is the Farlands! Unlike the Farlands of the old beta, this one goes all the way up to 256. And here's the other one. Yes, we went to the corner. You will find that there is there is no lag. Look at this. I'm getting 30 frames a second. I even go into the Farlands. And... Hmm. Well, it's not all... Whoa! Yeah, there's obviously something seriously wrong with the way things work when you go this far out. If you're reintroducing Farlands like stuff, I could have told you that. I just love the idea of, oh, you can go down that way and then there's this long pathway. And long pathways that go out for millions of blocks. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, how does this work? It's about the granularity of the noise generators. Unfortunately, I can't talk to you about the granularity of the noise generators because I'm not too familiar with how noise generators work. I'm not that kind of programmer. Or rather, I was that kind of programmer. I haven't messed with that. Now, as you know, when you get to the corner and you move through the corner, suddenly the terrain on top looks kind of semi-ordinary. And then down there, there's a pancake layer. Uh-oh. I see it. It's not pushing nothing. Oh, that is really weird. This reminds you of Terrain of Terror. That's because it's very similar to Terrain of Terror. It just goes on and on. It, it takes longer to load sections of it. Because there's a lot of... Well, there's a lot of lag going on because there's this... Oh, now it starts falling. It doesn't fall very well. Whoa! There is a delayed reaction if ever there was one. I'm glad I wasn't under it when it happened. Although nothing would have happened. It would have fallen through me. That is so awesome. Oh, it's still going. It's still going. It's still going. Awesome! Didn't even do all of them. There's some over there. But yeah, wow, cool, man. Farlands is one of the most fun things you can ever live in. You got these corridors built in. If you've got one that's vaguely the same, you could put... Presumably, you could put tracks up here and stuff. Let's see what we can do here. Oh. Well, obviously we're not going to be able to put it everywhere. This functions a lot better in this map. I mean, than it did in the old Farlands from Beta 173. All kinds of great things here. Here it all goes. Some of it. And it's not doing as good as it could. Yeah. Anyway, that's the Farlands. Now you've seen the Farlands. <clears throat> With its stranger than truth. Now, how do you get this? Well, you have to... You have to hex edit the client. But if you just download the BNT class, you'll be able to l run it. And you'll be able to run it presumably in later versions of the game. It's also very annoying that it goes up to 256. Because that means that there's potentially more problems with this humongous distance from the very top to whatever you had going. I wanted to try out what it's like with a flatland. 
there is an ant venom video in which he got this to work and he showed us what he showed us what the farlands was like in the nether which is basically it goes up to below bedrock and the end where it looks like this when you get far enough out but the end itself is pretty much unchanged at 1.9 it'll be really weird but you'll probably have to change another class by then and he checked amplified and it wasn't much different than this but I want to check something out we're gonna try this flat far lens nine 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 customize him <clears throat> desert do you think desert will be good no we don't want 52 sandstone just give it a classic flat classic flats fine it could be worse all right now we're still doing the flatland I mean we're still doing Slimes are spawning already. Haha, <laughs> it's not the was cast. You don't You don't you can't scare me. I could fly over you. I could Can I ride on them? That's a good question. Can I ride on them? No, I can't ride on them. It's too bad. All right, all right. Let's go. Okay, so TP was at 125500 uh, 96. Now make it 48. 1, 2, 5, 5, 0, 400. Oh, look, it's a village. What are villages like out here, you might wonder? Wow. Am I going slowly? Oh, this keyboard... Something wrong with my shift and uh, control keys. I'm going to have to get a new keyboard. I'm not hearing any sounds or stuff. Yep. It should all be there and it's not. That's actually not a bad trade. I wonder what's with the sound. There's no sound. I don't have sound off. Paper trade, excellent. Three diamonds, not bad. Yeah, everything looks perfectly fine out here at the Farlands. Or, well, near the far lands, anyway. It's this way, isn't it? Alright, we're gonna go there. Forty-five degree angle. So what's it going to look like? Let's see. Should be coming into view in about 100 blocks. Maybe a little bit more than 100 blocks. Yep, I can see the edges popping up and now. Here it goes. Well, maybe a little bit more. This should be it. Hmm. You know, I'm always wrong. It was 12 million, wasn't it? Hmm. 
I think Flatland does without the Farlands because they have a different thing going on. A mucho different thing going on. They reorganized everything or something. Well, let's try the next thing. Yep. We'll be coming up on the, the, the world barrier just to prove that it's not there. Because we can, that's why. Well, it looks like it's a journey to there once again. Oh, well, it's this, this, this village again. It's, it looks like the exact same village as before, with only slight differences. It's got the stuff on the edges there like that. Never mind that. Here we go. You can sense something in the background, but it's just beyond ability to see it. Should be able to see it any second now. There we are. Now you'll notice about the border, it looks a little bit different than, than we have now. The flatlands goes out to 30 million, but the border stops just short of 30 million. And that's how Minecraft servers are supposed to behave now, is they don't go the full distance. Yeah, so anyway, Firelands doesn't work for everything. But do you know why Firelands didn't work? It's because this thing only goes up a couple of levels. You'll find if you look long enough, and far enough that you will find all sorts of crazy things down here. But I don't have time to get into that. This is Basement Wozat with the red dot on his forehead. Oh no, look out for that red dot! Ooh, there's a strange scene going on there. Anyway, we'll be back someday soon. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen?